All right, so today we're going to go over landing the F-16. We're going to be landing on runway 08 at Creech Air Base, right over there. There are two different types of landing. Uh, there are uh, There is the uh, straight-in approach, and then there is an overhead break. I'm going to go over both of them. All right, so first we're going to do a straight-in landing. Now, your gear actually has two maximum speeds landing gear speed and the wheel speed. Your tires can only spin so fast, so your wheel speed is actually 235 and your max gear speed is 300. I try to keep it under 250 when I'm approaching, and then I drop the gear below 250. This allows me to have plenty of, uh, this allows me to have plenty of speed without overspeeding the gear. And then I want to get it under 220, 210 before I get close to touching down, regardless of how heavy I am. Now, right now we're running slick, so I won't need to Altitude. touch down that fast. Altitude. So I'm going to be touching down significantly slower than that. So we've got the gear down, three green. Trying to line myself up so I'm nice and straight here. Put that flight path marker right where it needs to be. Try to get as center as you can. Keep that glide slope. Keep your speed fairly steady. Right when the tip of the uh, runway is underneath the nose, like right about now, we start our flare. Pull up a little bit. Drop the throttle. Flare. Drop the throttle. And you want to hold that nose up as long as you can. Don't go above 15. You go above 15, you're going to have a tail strike. So keep it below 15. We keep the nose up turn your whole jet into an air brake. And hold it until the jet wants to come down, then let her down. And you want to hold the brakes, maybe put out the uh, speed brakes. Got a little bit of a crosswind here. And that's it. Taxi to parking. Alright, so for the overhead brake, you want to keep yourself around 1500 feet. Uh, because we are so high in the high desert here, it says 5,000, but we're actually about 1,500. I'm using the radar altimeter down here on the on the bottom right of the hood, with the R next to it. I'm going to try to be at about 1,200 to 1,500 feet, and you're going to go right over the right over the airstrip, and about halfway down the field, you're going to break left or break right, depending on the pattern. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and break left. Alright, one's in the break. Watch your G's up on the top left. Try and keep it around three. I was pulling a little too hard there. Three G's, drop the throttle. This will bleed off a lot of airspeed. Now you gotta watch the airfield. And on the tip of the runway that you're gonna touch down on, you want to line that up with the back fins of your AIM-9. If you don't have anything loaded there, just whatever you've got loaded there, you're, you're trying to line it up with the back tip of your wing. Alright, so right about there, that looks good. Now we can start turning base. top of these mountains here because I don't want to get too high. 
Altitude. Altitude. Turn final. Now, if you're in an uncontrolled airfield, you want to declare that. Uh, if you're just playing single player like I am right now, uh, you just have to ask the simulated ATC for landing clearance. But on multiplayer, you're going to want to declare downwind, base, final. Alright, so we're going to keep our speed fairly steady here. And I'm going to try and center myself. Good. Line that flight path marker right up in the center. That is where I'm going to land, right where that circle is. I'm actually going to land a little further than that because I'm just putting the circle below where I want to land. So I'm going to do a little bit of a flare, which will let me float a little bit before I touch down. It'll also slow me down significantly. Alright, here we go. A little bit of a flare. Watch my speed dropping. Drop that throttle. Keep the nose up. Air brake. Let her down when she wants to go down. Brakes, a little bit of rudder, got some crosswind here. The crosswind is pretty, it's not crazy strong, but it's enough that it's pushing me over. Alright, turn on my nose steering here, and that's it. Taxi to parking.